It's been one year since the clash between the Hausa and Yoruba communities living in Ilefe, Oshun State. The clash, which occurred in March 2017, left bitter pill in the homes of many people as many were injured. Homes and property were burnt, leaving many displaced without a place to lay their heads. Although the cause of the clash is still very shady, the same people who could not see eye to eye have gathered together at the IFE central local government to receive the team from the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons. Officials of the commission are here to present to the people over 200 grinder machines to empower victims of the clash. As we do this handing over of these grinding machines, we want you to use them judiciously, use them to empower yourselves, use them to empower your families. You can form cooperatives, you can do it single, but you must use them to empower yourselves so that when we come back next time and we see that there is growth, it is a motivational factor to increase whatever the Honorable Federal Commissioner and the Commission wants to do. Representatives of both communities expressed their appreciation, but say they've learned a lesson from the clash. You know, we felt government has really forgotten us. Uh, you know, for like one year, we have not had anything, and we were asked to submit our names and things and documents to the town hall, and up to now, we have not had anything. And that has been the grief of our, of our people. Um, but if, if this is coming, it is telling us that government has not really forgotten us and that we could still be compensated. Actually, we learn, we learn a lot of lessons, that the, there's no profit in any crisis in this life. We learn it. And we are now, thank God, we said to it, we are living in peace. We are living amicably with each other now. So we've learned one other thing, that is, we must guide our territory very well. We must ensure that we don't give room to some people to come in and, you know, disrupt our peace. That's one great lesson that we have learned. No doubt, life has returned to the Sabo area of Ife. But there are still trademarks of the clash. Homes destroyed are still under reconstruction one year after. And going by the people's cry, that is an indication that help is still very much needed.